We're in conversation with Don E. Cody, and thank you for taking the time to be here, three-peat guest. <laughs> Listen, no big deal, just blowing through. It's funny because, you know, where this station is located is right near my folks' house, so I might pop over for a little hello afterwards. We'll see. There you go. We're a tight-knit community here <laughs> in Newfoundland, Labrador. I want to talk about, you're right in the middle of interviewing all these great guests, and mm. you have your finger on the pulse of the city and the province. What are some of the coolest things happening right now? What are some trends we can expect mm. going into 2022? Interesting. So ultimately, um, it's, it's about projects for me. You know, the folks who um, come my way for different purposes, whether it's to talk about what they're doing or whether I can lend sort of my uh, ability to help them do their thing. So I want to switch it over to a moment of recreation NL, if I could. That's right. I was so honored to be part of that project. That was amazing. Star-studded cast of Newfoundland and Labrador personalities. Yeah. I thought, do I really belong in this group? But <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Oh, yeah, I no doubt. I was delighted to be part of it. Well, I'll tell you what. That organization does so much. It means so much. And um, as wellness supporters, which is ultimately what they are. Every municipality, every rec center, every field, every program that provides wellness in any form, which is not necessarily putting on your running shoes and breaking a sweat. It could be reading a book, it could be doing yoga, it could be walking through nature, it could be just taking time and making you time, which is what the organization believes in. And so they rebranded and wanted to do a campaign that involved all sorts of folks from different disciplines across the province. And of course, you find yourself into that mix. And so every month over the year gone by, different wellness ambassadors were able to come on through social media and through their marketing tactics and talk about the simple things that we can do as Newfoundlanders to better connect with the idea of what wellness can mean. It's not purely physical, it's emotional, it's mm -hmm. intellectual, and there's different ways that we can fuel the feeling of wellness. And I think that was such an amazing project to be involved in and surrounded by so many awesome people as well who all have a different lens on what wellness means to them. And I learned a lot as well, which is the best part about projects like this, is that we really get to widen our own understanding via the collaboration with other folks, which is the best part.